All right, so full story. I was up here and I looked down. And I'm like, God, oh, there's bones coming out of, out of the, the ground. I'm like, whoa, that's wild. I'm like, I've never seen that before. It must be an old cow or something that died in this. And it silted in over top of it. I'm like, man, that's a lot of soil to silt in, especially with how small this little ridge is. And then I spotted that bad boy that I just dug out of the ground. That is the coolest thing I've ever found. Unreal. Unreal. It's always a good sign when you see a couple deer where you're planning to look for deer antlers. Look at that. That's so cool. Man, I bet there's elk sheds in here. Um, it used to be a pretty worn down deer trail. It doesn't look like a lot of deer have used it this year. Um, I'm also a little late, so there's that. But last time I was in here, these were like super duper like crazy beat down by deer, but obviously not a lot of deer in here this time around. Or as many, they might be sticking closer to the, to the creek. All right, so it's already getting dark. I haven't found an antler. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of deer in here. There's a lot of elk in here though. And uh, they seem to be running these top ridges. They aren't down in the valleys as much. So I'm gonna go dip down in this valley, walk back towards the truck. Um, I can see those two bulls, those shed bulls that were down here. I can see them right now. They're still hanging there. And there's another group of elk, probably about 150 head up here so and i don't see any bulls in there but um i'm gonna walk through some of this stuff and then walk back to the truck and see um and then i'll probably be out here tomorrow but i think i'm gonna top walk these top ridges and see if i can't find uh an elk shed i just don't feel like there's enough deer running in here anymore and there's some boot tracks so i'm assuming somebody's already been in here all right, so I'm pretty excited. I just glassed up a shed. I don't know if it's a mule deer shed or an elk shed. I can't even tell. I just know it's a shed. I'm walking to it. I can see it now. I think it's an elk shed. I'll flip the camera around real quick. White elk shed. Yup. Wow, there you go. Nice. Old whitey. So old. No wonder I saw it. That thing stuck out like a sore thumb. Oh, it's a six. What? I just saw that. It's a six point. No way. Awesome. Yes. I'll have to be come back in tomorrow. I mean, I could barely even see this one. So that tells you anything. I'm sure I can glass up more sheds in here. But there's going to be more of this. There are boot tracks in here. So that does lead me to believe that there are other people walking this. But. At least I found a six. It's just about dark, but I'm gonna pick up this elk shed for you guys. Yes, look at that. <laughs> oh, dude. Yes, look at that. A little, a little hike in them. I already found one old whitey, man. Oh, yes. I love finding elk sheds. <laughs> I absolutely love finding elk sheds, you guys. It's from last year, actually. You can see there's still brown on it. So it's from last year. It's just been sitting out. That's cool boy. He's gonna he's a freaking stud this year for sure. Alright, so it's super early and it's super cold. It's in the teens this morning. Um I'm freezing. <laughs> I didn't want to get out of the truck, but uh I was like, yeah, I better get up and go quit being lazy and try to find some antlers. So, walking back out where I found that elk shed now, and uh, hopefully I'll find some more. I'm about to walk past this little guy. Oh my gosh, I walked so many miles and finally found a shed, and it's an old one, but I still found a shed, so. Cool, finally. Yikes, he didn't fare too well. Jeez. What happened? Is 
So I'm digging it out and I realized it's a bison skull. Like an old, old bison skull. What? See, that's his horn. And then his other horn's here. And that's his eye and his other eye is right. It's gotta be what it is. It's a bison skull. I'm still trying to dig out this bison skull. It's been here so many years that it's like ingrained, like just I mean, it is packed in there so hard. All right, so full story. I was up here and I looked down. I'm like, God, oh, there's bones coming out of, of the, the ground. I'm like, whoa, that's wild. I'm like, I've never seen that before. It must be an old cow or something that died in this and it silted in over top of it. I'm like, man, that's a lot of soil to silt in, especially with how small this little ridge is. And then I spotted that bad boy that I just dug out of the ground. That is the coolest thing I've ever found. Unreal, unreal. All right guys, I think I dug around it enough to actually get it out. Here we go. Let me uh, sit down the phone here. This thing's been resting here for probably a, over a hundred years. Oh my gosh. Over a hundred years this thing has been in the ground. Oh, yes! Look at that! Oh, this is my coolest find I think I've ever, ever, ever had. Whoa! What? That's a bison skull! That is a bison skull right there. No way. So cool. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That that has to be my coolest find I've ever, ever found, period. That is a genuine bison skull right there, boys. Wow. Dude, that thing's so heavy. I don't even know how I'm gonna get it out. That's amazing. These used to just roam everywhere in here. That's just unreal. Wow! Check and make sure it's legal. It's even, like, I don't know, possess it. So, I just got the go ahead from the game work. He's uh, writing me out a uh, permit right now for it. So, I get to keep it. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so stoked. Wow. Yes, this is so awesome. This is like the coolest thing ever. All right, everybody. The shed wall is pretty well full. Can't fit any more. These are all my bigger vines. And then down here, I have all my smaller stuff and obviously the six point elk shed that I found that's a year old, as well as the coolest thing I've ever found, that bison school. Here's this old two that I found. But I had to get a permit, got confirmation it is a bison. So it's a real bison skull. Over, bison were last in that area back in like the 1840s or something crazy like that. So that's really cool. That's how long that thing had been sitting there since the 1840s. So almost 200 years, but a little over a hundred, but had to get an interstate game tag. You can see that I have the uh, the red permit on right there, but yeehaw. Well, thanks for watching everybody. Appreciate the support. Um, this was definitely fun. I left early. I walked 20 miles, only found the one antler in that entire walk. So it was kind of brutal. Um, so I didn't really want to walk today in the snow because it snowed quite a bit. But, again, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you guys have a great day. Remember to subscribe. Almost to a thousand subs. Thanks.